Yeah, you know, the last 18 months for me has been an incredible experience. I've travelled all over Ireland and Europe and America and um, giving talks, you know, speaking in churches and cathedrals, workplaces, community centres, educational institutions. It's brought me into the front room of individuals, which very often have been the most poignant for me because it brings me back to that time where I was stuck in my own room for six months. Um, spoken in front of 70,000 people in Crow Park at Electric Picnic with Prezi. Um, had some very challenging experiences along the way, but also some very interesting. I was actually out in America, um, and it wasn't long. I was giving a talk out, and it wasn't long after I'd wrote my uh, second blog about my sexuality. And at the end of the talk, this woman came to me, and she said, look, um, I do a bit of work with a group of people that come from a fairly checkered background. Some of right. them have criminal records and things like that. Um, and I'm just wondering, is there any chance you'd come down tomorrow to have a, ch a chat to them? So I said, no bother. So the following evening, uh, her friend was walking me in the, in the door into the hall, and I could see the woman in there introducing me. And her friend said to me, um, you know, she said, um, I think you're very brave. Thanks very much for coming down. And I thought that was a strange thing to say, because I was coming in to talk to a group of people yeah. that have well-being and mental health difficulties. And I said, why are you saying that? And just as we were walking in, well, she said, look, you know, some of these people are ex-murderers and stuff like that, and some of them actually hate gay people, and the next minute I'm inside in a room full of these people <laughs> that, that have, you know, scars from their forehead down to the base of their throat and skull and crossbones on their hands. And, you know, when I find myself in a bit of trouble in the hurling field, I normally have someone like Diamond the Rock or Sullivan yeah, me to give me a bit of hand. Yeah. But I'm here in the middle of America in front of these people, and, and, and I'm on my own, so... In the, in the deepest voice possible that I could summon, uh, I said to the gang, I said, look, I said, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I said, but uh, I said, I can't stay too long because my girlfriend is waiting in the car outside to, <laughs> to take me to a show. And uh, of all the talks I've given all year, that was the fastest talk I've given. Uh, yeah.